Okay, leftover chicken. We had chicken on the grill. It was absolutely delicious. I marinated it in my uh, sesame oil and uh, Montreal chicken seasoning and olive oil. And it was absolutely delicious. Oh, absolutely delicious. So, take your chicken, your leftover chicken, and we're going to fix this up. First of all, we take our pan, and we're going to put two bouillon cubes, chicken bouillon cubes in there. Leftover, leftovers, and you make chicken soup out of it. Why? Because it's cold today. 32 degrees this morning. I can't believe it. Oh, don't want that fire. Don't want that now. 32 degrees this morning. I couldn't believe it. Boy, two days ago we were swimming. It's unbelievable. Crazy change of weather. Anyway, chicken bouillon cubes. And I'm going to add water in this. Okay? How much water? That's our base. So I'll probably add about, oh, three cups of water. Three cups of water. Yeah, about three cups of water. Okay, so there's our base for our chicken soup. Into that, I'm going to add some onion, a little bit of sweet onion. Every, everything has sweet onion. Yes, sweet Vidalia onion. Oops. Don't want that outer skin. He's a tough guy. We keep that like that. Get that out of there. Make that a little bit. Okay. A little bit more onion. And I have leftover brown rice. And I'm going to put that in here, too. And so, there's... I'll get that heating. There we go. And, of course, chicken. Okay, now, I'm going to leave the barbecue stuff on it because... Delicious. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Chicken breasts. I had gotten them and cut them. Got them for $1.89 a pound. Really good price. And, um... I sliced them in half before we put them on the grill. Marinate them that way. They cook better. Come out nice and juicy and tender. Little pieces. It's even delicious cold. Leave the stuff right on them. Makes the soup better. I had gotten all the... Um, fat off of these before I cooked them on the grill. So there's no fat and there was no um, gristle, no no tendons, nothing. It was just nice and I like little pieces. I don't like great big fat pieces of chicken when I'm eating chicken soup. I like it to kind of blend together. I am using a cutting board with this because with meat, it's a lot easier to use a cutting board. And the cutting board is made out of bamboo. It's wonderful. You can throw it in the dishwasher. And I know if this sits in the refrigerator, it's going to get thrown out in three days, two days. So two, two or three days because nobody, nobody likes leftovers that much unless you disguise them and make them into something new. So always take your leftovers and make something new. I was going to take it, the chicken, and cut them up like this and then stir fry them with cabbage in oil with scallions and garlic and uh, uh, Asian flavors, ginger. And then I thought, nah, my kitchen gets a mess when you stir fry because it's, it's uh, very oily. So the last piece here, there we go. Cut him up in there, there we go. Save your Ziploc bag for your garbage. Great place to put your old garbage. It saves your regular garbage can. Mm, oops, that piece too. Um, if you put all your garbage in a Ziploc bag and then seal it, an old Ziploc bag, and then throw it in your garbage, it doesn't stink. And it doesn't make a mess because it's contained in the Ziploc bag. That's the See, I'm using my old garbage bags, my old Ziploc bags, to put the garbage in it. All the stuff here. Your paper products. Or anything edible, meat, vegetables, whatever. Put them in a container. I got a pail here, and I throw them out about every other day. Throw them out in the backyard, and I have a lot of creatures that come and 
live on my compost. You know, what they don't eat gets composted. So, there's the chicken. All in there, all cut up in the, in the broth already. Now with that, I'm going to add a couple carrots. Everyone likes carrots. These carrots look a little, a little sketchy because they're a little old, but that's okay. That's okay, you can still use them. What you do is you just take all that outside stuff off them. It's only the outside stuff that's bad. See that? And lovely. Don't throw things away. You can always use them. Food is very precious. And very... Not expensive, but... Uh, you don't want to throw anything into bad spots. Don't say, oh, I'm going to throw that whole thing out. No, just get rid of that one little spot. Does not hurt at all. These have been in the refrigerator, of course. And let me wash them. Now, there's not a thing wrong with those carrots. See that? Not a thing wrong with them. Okay? So now I'm going to just cut them up here in my pan. These I cut by hand. When you do this, you cut them, you have a cutting motion like a, a turning. Pushing like this and a turning with carrots. Because if I just sit like this, and then I gotta go like this, and it's hard. But if I turn it, much easier, and you won't cut your finger. Except when you get down that close like that, then you gotta go a little slower. Okay, get that carrot. And turning motion and squishing motion. Squeeze and turn. And moving the knife along just a little bit. And if it's too fat, then you can go like this. So they're not big circles. They're little pieces because you don't want a big circle carrot when you're eating soup. So this is a tilt. Tilt and push. And there's the carrots cut up. Throw them in there. Okay. Not the skin, just the carrots. Okay. Now, what else do we want in there? Have we gotten our garlic in there yet? Not yet. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, Looks like we need a little bit more water. So it's not that much water in there. So I'm gonna put another cup of water in there until the pan, probably about another cup and a half of water in there. Okay. And then from that, I'm gonna put in brown rice, leftover brown rice. How much brown rice? I don't know, how much brown rice do you like? Brown rice does have carbs, but that's not as bad. So I'm gonna put in Mm, that looks good. A little more. I like a thick soup. Okay, so there's brown rice, chicken, carrots, bouillon cubes. Now I'm going to throw in some more, some of the green beans that were left over. And the yellow squash left over. Getting rid of this stuff pretty good, huh? Yes, I am. Uh... That's about it there. And smelling good, smelling good. I think what I want to, I'm going to add some French onion dip when this cooks down a bit. So I'm going to let this sit here for a while and put it on low simmer and let it cook until all the vegetables, the carrots cook into that and it gets maybe about an hour. And then I'll come back and throw some of this in there. 